We just got home from our first Melody Makers class and it was a lot of fun. It was only 30 minutes. Kind of went by, by kind of fast, but that's okay. I think um, 30 minutes is kind of the limit that to keep their attention span anyway. Ryan took a little bit to warm up. She didn't really want to do much. She was kind of clingy to me a little bit. Carter though, he decided he wanted to crawl all over the place. and. Because it's kind of a small room, um, they just let the kids go and um, each parent, of course, kind of watches out for each other's kids. And so um, Carter was just going around meeting all the babies um, and having some fun. We are home and I'm just giving them a bottle right now. It is a yucky mess outside. It has been raining since this morning it's really cold out um it's a lot different than it was this week uh, but i think it's supposed to warm up again next week i think we have a bit of a rain coming uh for today and tomorrow though but here's what it looks like just yucky so we are hanging inside um melody makers was kind of the on the to-do list today so now that that's done um, it's going, we're just going to kind of hang around the house, do some things around the house. Uh, my mother-in-law is coming over and, um, I need to give these kids a nap because Ryan woke up at 9.30 this morning, I believe my husband said. Carter was up around 7.45 and he hadn't had a nap yet. So I'm going to get ready to try to, it's about, it's about 12.30. So I'm going to try to get them down for a nap. Yeah. Good. <laughs> You're not sure about it, are you? Ryan. <laughs> I think she's just putting it down on her. <laughs> Where'd all that spaghetti go? It went down there. What are you doing? <laughs> You're supposed to eat it. At least brother's eating it. You saving that for later? Look at all that down there.
something very exciting to do. Maybe later, Sarah. Daddy and I are going to play puzzles. Say, I don't need no stinking nap. Say, why sissy naps we play? Oh, yeah, get it, jump it, jump, jump. Carter. Boingy, 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 boingy. You're silly. You're silly. Today, I went out to get the kids a new playpen area because um, Ryan has learned how to uh, crawl out of the swimming pool um, and the way she does it she about falls on her head so I needed to find something a little safer for her um, plan on taking the pool down anyway and putting up the new playpen and I got home and this is what I got came home to um, the pool is deflated. Um, I did find a hole over in this area. It's definitely like a puncture from uh, one of the animals. I'm not sure if it was the dog or the cat. Um, most likely the... I, I don't know. I'm not going to blame one or the other. But anyway, I did find the hole and I'm hoping that's the only hole there is and we can patch it up and that way we can use this. Um, this summer for the kids to kind of play in as a swimming pool area, but Anyway, yeah, I'm glad I I got this new little playpen area for them so While the kids are currently sleeping Out in the um, they're actually out in the van. I've left it running They fell asleep on the way home um, and Carter has not been taking his first nap during the day, which is fine He doesn't seem to need it, but by the time the second nap time rolls around, he is definitely in need of a nap. So I've uh, left him in there and um, again, I can, I've been checking out the door and uh, also going out and checking on them through the window so that when they wake up, they can come back in. But I definitely need them to sleep. Um, so anyway, while, I'm while they're doing that, I am trying to get the playpen set up for them. I did um, take the mats out of the pool and clean out the toys and um, I think the pool idea is, is a great idea. Um, but one thing I did find while I was cleaning up and uh, just want to I guess advise those who want to use this idea. Um, again it's a great idea but the kids have spilt milk on those play mats and I guess it kind of went through the bottoms a little bit or the cracks in the play mat. So um, there's kind of like some sour milk around here. Um, I do try to clean the pool out every now and then, like at least once a week, just uh, to keep it kind of clean. But as you can tell, they have their snacks and stuff in there. And so it, it does get dirty. Um, here's what the play mat looks like on the back side. So the milk, like I said, it looks like it kind of went through these little puzzle piece areas and kind of spread out. Um, and then this was at the top of the play mat. So um, the milk obviously went down there as well. So yeah, if you decide to do the whole pool idea, I think it's a great idea. Just um, you might want to actually take the mat piece off <laughs> if you put a mat in there and um, clean underneath it too because like I said I vacuumed the top of the mat and I also like sprayed it down to um, sanitize it and uh, it just wasn't enough but I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up and try to get the rest of this playpen area set up before the kids wake up so that when they do wake up I can just put them in there <laughs> 